Here we go with the final then of the Nordic FIM Speedway Grand Prix in front of a fantastic crowd here at the Voyant Speedway Centre. Really is good to see so many fans enjoying their speedway and they've been served up a treat as well with some fantastic racing. They have. A big winner in all this, Christoph Kasperzak is the only rider in the top four who can make progress in the race for the world title. Peter Kellerman off the inside, Andreas Johnson off two. Christoph Kasperzak off three and Troy Batchelor off the outside. Only Kasperzak in this final can have a say on the destiny of the world title. A yeah, great opportunity for Kasperzak with two riders. Also here, AJ and Batchelor fighting for their Grand Prix lives. Yep, they are indeed. And Jonsson has made a wonderful start in blue. Switching up the inside is Troy Batchelor in yellow. That's a good ride from Troy Batchelor. Battle for third here, Kasperzak and Killerman. It's Jonsson with the lead. Killerman has taken Kasperzak out and switches up the inside. And now Kasper coming back on the inside now, really challenging Batchelor. Oh. And now Kellerman comes on the inside line as well. Oh, brilliant speed one there, Peter Kellerman once again using the opportunity. Kasperzak and Batchelor literally hanging all over each other. Andrew Johnson made a supreme start out of gate two and he's away. If he doesn't have any problems, he should win here on the night. What a return for form for the Swedish former world number two. Multiple Grand Prix winner, of course. Looking good out in front. Kilderman, the darling of the crowd, through to second place. Can he do anything about AJ? Well, Jonsson looking good here. This would be a remarkable boost for AJ. He has won eight Grand Prix titles in the past. It's looking like he's going to win a ninth Grand Prix of his career. Second place there, Peter Kilderman of Denmark. And Christoph Kasperzak's third place means that he stays third in the world. One point behind Ty Wolfenden, Greg Hancock, goes into Stockholm if he is fit with a seven-point lead in the World Championship. Oh, thank you very much. You know, I think, think I'm more released and happy, you know, because it's, it's been such a tough year for me and uh, now coming back here and have a decent Grand Prix, but ending up winning it, and you know, I don't think I realised it yet.